you can also change the print order of a job in GSPplot. Once a file is opened in GSPplot, click on the Print Options icon in the GSPplot toolbar or in the Setup menu to open the Print Options dialog box. At the top of the box is the Output by Layer toggle option. If the current file was output to GSPplot as a single layer and Output by Layer is not selected, you have the option of defaulting to the print order saved in the Composer PLT file. If the file was output by layer from Composer and the output by layer box is checked, then you would also be able to use the Composer print order option. In this example, the job was output as a single layer from Composer, so we currently have the print order option available. You can also change the print order of the vinyl and foil colors by unchecking the Use Composer print order option and clicking and dragging the color icons. You can default to the Composer print order at any time by clicking on the Use Composer print order option. This will get rid of any manual changes you may have made. To print each layer individually and treat each layer like its own separate job, each with their own targets, final commands, and print orders, check on the Output by Layer option. You can now select each layer of the job individually from the drop-down menu. Once each layer is selected, you can change the print order of all the vinyl and foil colors associated with it. GSP Plot will automatically construct a print order for each layer based on the stacking order of the objects in the job. You can default to this order at any time by toggling the Output by Layer option. However, this will affect all of the layers in the job and will get rid of any manual changes you may have made.